The Pacific Tsunami Warning Center has issued a tsunami warning not just for Japan, once again for Russia as well, Marcus Island, North... Another tsunami is hitting Miyagi Prefecture, Sendai, Japan, and it looks like that tsunami wave is moving upstream rapidly. Live coverage from our helicopter up in northern Miyagi Prefecture. We're at tsunami, obviously, coming in several sweeps. Hitting Miyagi Prefecture, Sendai, Sendai area. A large part of the city has been struck, engulfed by this tsunami. Farms being washed away along with houses. We don't know the extent of the damage. Civilian buildings in Tokyo in surrounding areas lost power soon after the quake. There has also been a massive power failure in the area hit hard by the quake in the northeastern part of the country. This is from our camera reporter in Miyagi. And it looks and it looks like the tsunami has engulfed several cities in Miyagi Prefecture. Live footage of Miyagi as the tsunami has struck the area, obviously engulfing farms, homes alongside the river. In Sendai City, this is in Miyagi Prefecture. Tsunami, live coverage of tsunami engulfing this Sendai area in Miyagi Prefecture. This is after a major earthquake hitting Japan Friday afternoon. Japan. Obviously cars, trucks, you can see some of the uh, tsunami and it looks like some fire breaking out in, in, Senda, in the Sendai area after the tsunami has hit. Major earthquake that was revised at magnitude 8.4. One of the largest earthquakes ever to hit Japan. The tsunami has already engulfed some cities. Fires breaking out due to the earthquake. In northeastern Japan's Iwate Prefecture, tsunami waves of over four meters were observed soon after the quake. The agency is in the Sendai area, Miyagi Prefecture, north of Japan. For those of you who have just tuned in to NHK World, a major earthquake hit Japan Friday afternoon about an hour ago, hour and ten minutes ago. Japan's meteorological agency says the quake measured magnitude 8.4. It has revised it upwards to 8.4. The agency has issued a tsunami warning for Japan's Pacific coast. In northeastern Japan's Iwate Prefecture, tsunami waves of over four meters were observed soon after the quake. The agency is warning that the tsunami could reach between six and ten meters currently contacting local governments and related agency to assess the extent of the damage tsunami has already struck and you, you can see some of the damages so far in miyagi prefecture northern japan and the sendai area but also for russia we're back to live coverage from our helicopter in miyagi prefecture sendai northern japan that looks like the sendai airport almost completely flooded from several tsunamis that has hit the area. Our helicopter is also at Miyagi Prefecture covering live Sendai area where obviously a large tsunami has hit on area engulfing big parts of the city. Airport in northern Japan are still closed. On an NHK helicopter, You're seeing a fire that is completely raging out of control. This probably is far as they can get close to that fire that looks like bigger than some of the surrounding buildings, completely raging out of control. It has led to fires, and that fire in an oil refinery completely under control, a large inferno, Chiba Prefecture, Ichihara area, o oil refinery up in blaze. That blaze lighting up uh, the whole area. We can attend to the matter, and we went into the disaster response center. As soon as we compile the information, at, at this point in time, um, what we are, what we have to do, uh, we will get in touch with the police as well as firefighters to confirm safety.